Welcome. This is your horse. This is your host, Death Not Sam for Way. I'm happy and excited and excited for to for to play this for to play this and let's play. And this game is called Assassin's Creed 3. So let's play Assassin's Creed 3. Let's see how let's see how good it is. used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up, or laughed them off, sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Absturbo Industries. We know them as the Templars. As the enemy, we've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened, up until its creation. To the victor when he spoils, when the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. Something larger than the assassins and the Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few months will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond, through the animus who discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches. December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. It does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, are precursors of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of the game. This is where they led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of its youth. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Pretty serious shit, I would say. Gotta look around, no. Back here now. And they changed a little bit. I must see my daddy right there. <laughs>
Let's go. So far, the ground hooks is amazing. And, whoops, sorry there. Sorry, sorry. Okay, what we're waiting for. Ooh, I already have a piece of meat. That's awesome. Trolls saying almost the same, but I know they're going to be different. Glow stick. Hey, I need my glow stick. Damn it. No, my glow stick. Oh well. So let's slide back down here. Yeah. Me to the animus instead of, I don't know, I'm sure I was okay. You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you, and I didn't want to risk severing the connection. Huh. At least not until we knew what it wanted. What? Right, of course. Son, I. No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking 
for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She... Juno, dead. She's talking to me. We are in circles. It's fine. Okay, Jasmine. While you were uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Atmos. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start to Watch the marker. Okay, Desmond, let's practice climbing on these objects. Oh. Bam. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> I haven't lost my touch. Whoa! That was shitty close. Progress using the map button. Your map. There's your map and sections. No map available. The Opera House. That's really something. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? I think I don't need my coat. I need my coat, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. 
Good evening, sir. Huh? Which way? Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Leave my seat. Only on that trigger is the is is now the new option to do actually you think. Let's see, gold target. Found it. There we go. Break the lock. Don't mind me, I'm just going to 
Sorry, boy. Just going for it. is yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these three curses. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to I assume you know where this storehouse is. Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen, how fair are your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's not ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. 
That is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Though a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them on your side, you for them. Well, then I'd best be on my way. Mm -hmm. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. New box. Go forth, Hatham, and bring honor to us all. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover why they are. Well, I hope you are successful in your endeavors. As do I. Thank you for that kind of work. You're welcome. Carry on, Doctor. Alright, let's see what we're going to do. What we're going to get into. Out, hey, how dare they close the door? Let's play the one little game here. Oh, come on. Huh? 
Oof. Oof. Damn. Let's see you do it. There we go. And then all will be well. You sure then? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? No. Nah. I don't see what the others are. Hey, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Optics, no place for tender for now. Who's a Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how fun you find this. Fancy not for this. Yeah. 
He just thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to lull about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. Whoa. There's your knife, though. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your troubles have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon. You're a poor leader, ill tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men tend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? <laughs> Thank you. Let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Don't mess with Calmway, man. Ooh, don't mess with Good him. Good day. Yeah! He's still like, he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna drink more of this. Yeah, Wait, where's the marker at? Get to work. He's got a rations again. Claims we're not proficient. Look at us, much looks like this. Oh, 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 No time for dancing around. You there? I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. All right. I'm doing this one first. Oh, doctor, have you taken it? Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you had any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances? 
then taking issue with the captain. You sound just like Jane. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything of her. And where might I find Jane? The galley is your best friend. Now, if you excuse me. Thank you for the information, Doctor. Oh, that's the game. Are you James? Uh, I. Nathan Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know where you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I beg of this much, but not here. Follow me. So, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? So have the men been gathering at night to move the deck. I've only caught bits of the conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what to do. But I suspect it goes here. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little look for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Hey, man. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. <laughs> what brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Switch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. Deck high at all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. Why? I'm on the suit. Ow. What's going on here? Who's throwing the captain's cargo? Back to my right again. Ah, what do we for there? Any news? It's nice to say. I scouted one area and I dropped the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. I fear it's only a matter of time before whoever's following this. Ship sighted her! She's making ready to fire! Feet to quarters, men! Oh shit.
debt. Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig her sail? To load her cannon? To wage war at sea? I don't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? Secure the hatch! Fine, if you want your ship sunk, it can be sunk. Have you been top sunk? A ship's in here means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does, Smith. Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. Huh. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? Ooh. I'm sailing in the Navy. Uh oh. Not good, not good, not good, not good. No, get off, get off, jump. I mean, where? Go. No. 
Get off the barrel. That's not good. favorite hat. Oh. Ah ha! Bye bye. Dumb ship. Seventy-two days in the Atlantic Ocean. This is very high up. to the new world. Mission complete.
Boston, 1754. Hey. Excuse me. Master Kenley. Master Kenley. Yes, ma'am. Charles Lee, sir. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city. Hope you settle in. No, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the... Are you by any chance John and Isabella, sir? Welcome to Boston. Welcome to Boston. Ah, but he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might, well, at least until he arrives, I thought. Yes. Forgive me, sir. I had, I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Hold on. I can't really hear what he's saying. And it's got a basically an attractive option. Chair off. Impossible, sir. This way. Someone stop him. I really had to do that. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you settle in, I suggest you take some time to walk this course. Who knows what opportunities you might see? I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Oh, welcome to Boston, people. And welcome to Assassin's Creed 3. Sorry. Look, it's Benjamin Sunday. That's because I am. What's happened? I was wrong. The old Vulcan file. Though I managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's no You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever Benjamin Frank, please meet you. Ethan Hedway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You still possess the virtue to stop and help an old lout like myself. I I don't mean to impose, but you see, Miss Rockville, should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there.
Hmm. Let's see what's in here. And then I'll have to quit. Damn. I need my pistol. Lovely shop you got here, sir. Why, right, thank you, sir. I'll be out. I'll be off there. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not thrive. Have you been told why it is that comes to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Hi. All right, once we get to the end here, I have the green dragon. Books. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the orders long and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to my cause. And you may get to know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. Sir, William Johnson. Pleasure. Pleasure too.
by acquiring a knowledge of the land and its people to find me. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at losing in talks. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from the convoy in the southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir? We'd best be off. Of course. outside and let's see we'll see if I can say oops well I can say right there It says that a game on every saves. So, so this has been Death Knight Seven Four Eight with the legendary assassin from the Revolutionary War, which was of the British versus America, and. And this is Lynn Cartway here as one of the assassins. I hope you enjoyed this let's play and I hope you'll enjoy when you play when you play yourself Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed 3. This might help you in your history. This might help you in, uh, to define what really happened to an assassin's eyes during the Revolutionary War. Thank you for stopping by and, and peace out. Till next time on Assassin's Creed 3.